What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going over an awesome tool that's way over $30. So today we are going over the Snap-on PWZ-1s. These are orange in color. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about these pliers and just why they might be worth your time. So if you're interested in my review, well, you've gotta stay tuned. All right, guys, so full disclosure, I got these pliers from my Snap-on Dealers customer appreciation sale, and I did not even think about reviewing this tool because I just didn't know how much I would actually use it. So going into it, it was kind of a, it, it's kind of a goofy design. Um, it's different than pretty much anything you've ever seen. Uh, this design of plier comes from uh, the, the company Baco, and I'm pretty sure that Snap-on owns Baco, but this is a white branded product from them. Um, I think it's even down in the throat of it um, exactly who makes it. Yes, yeah, so they're branded Baco in the actual throat of the tool. So um, they are not a Snap-on made, but they are a white branded product and they're absolutely 100% worth your money. So today's review is all about um, showing you exactly how they've helped me. We're gonna roll in a short clip. Uh, I didn't plan on even using these in this manner. Uh, they were literally the only pliers I had with me and they were still in the truck from the Snap-on sale when I bought them. So brand new pliers, never used them before, literally pulled them out of the box and they saved me in the woods. So we're gonna roll that short clip and I'm gonna show you exactly how these came in handy. All right, so I know I switched over video quality here, but I wanna show you that I'm in the middle of the woods right now and otherwise wouldn't have been able to get this bad boy turned over because it was rusted for whatever reason and the pull starter, there was no way physically possible for me to pull on the rope hard enough. So I have my Tecton kit here and I took off the recoil but I didn't have a socket big enough to go on this nut here on the actual crank. So the, these snap-on pliers I bought literally on Sunday, it's now Tuesday, and I was able to get the jaws in the, the recoil here and literally just take it and spin it back and forth and work it loose. So now I'm back up and running and boom, these things came in a world of handy. Um, they were literally open as far as they could go to do just that. So um, an absolutely outstanding tool for all kinds of uses. Uh, I would have never been able to do it if I didn't bring these along just for the heck of it. All right, so it was absolutely crucial that these bit into you know those grooves and they were just right. Could I have done that with any pair of channel locks that are big enough to get that spindle in there? Yes, I probably could have, but I had these with me and these definitely saved my butt. So what I really, really like about these is they do not fight you to keep them held shut. So well, I'm, we're about to go over to the vise and I'm gonna show you. I'm just going to uh, say it right now that you do not have to hold these shut. You literally just have to keep pressure on the handle and they will stay closed. So let's turn around and we are going to go over to the vise. We're gonna clamp down on a bolt and I'm gonna just show you how uh, awesome these things really are. All right guys, so we're over here at the vise and I wanted to show you just exactly how these things work. So the bottom jaw is part of the handle here. So this is going to give you the leverage that you do not have to hold these shut in order for them to work. So what's great about these is you can put them over your work and you really don't have to worry about um, holding them shut like a, a traditional pair of channel locks. So it's really nice to be able to uh, not rely on your grip strength to overpower your weight or the amount of pressure you're putting on the handle. You can uh, literally just set these up and just use the back handle here that's colored and it will uh, cinch right down for you. So these are strong enough where you can uh, basically hang off of these. I'll go ahead and 
So I have, you know, 180 pounds of pressure there on the back and I did not have to worry about keeping the jaws shut. So that's a really, really nice feature to have. When you're looking at a traditional pair of channel locks, you're, uh, you're basically fighting your own self when, let's go ahead and cinch these up, okay? You're actually fighting your own pressure if I let go of the bottom grip, the pliers just fall off. So I can't hang on the top of the plier. It will just, as soon as the bottom jaw um, slips, it will fall off. See, and so uh, even when I had it set up and it was really bit in good, um, they really just fall right apart. So you really can't keep that kind of leverage unless you have a design like this. So I highly recommend these pliers. Now these things cost 74.50, I think on the Snap-on website. Um, they are definitely worth the money, but unless you're doing tie rod work um, or stuff that may be rounded uh, or already screwed up, these are gonna be the pliers for you. They have really sharp teeth. They're not for finish work. They are going to mar your bolt if you have to put any pressure in it whatsoever. So that's something to keep in mind and consider that if you're trying to take something apart or you're working on something that, hey -o, um, well, phone call cuts the video off, I guess. <laughs> hey everybody, Captain Johnny Hands here. The... <laughs> well, at least you're on YouTube trying to figure it out. Absolutely. So yeah, I, I'm in the middle of doing a tool. I feel like uh, Nerf Pop Pal will be making a video soon. Hey, absolutely, video coming out tonight. All right, sounds good. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> all right, man, we'll see you. Don't edit me out. I won't edit you out. It's all good. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> All right, so uh, Hampton over there uh, taking apart his washing machine while we're doing this. Um, so yeah, I really don't have much more to say about these pliers other than they are awesome. Um, at the $75 price point, I would definitely buy another pair. Um, I'm not going to get a set that's bigger than this. I might get the set that's a little smaller. Um, they do make an eight inch set, or I think it's eight and a half, and this is considered 12 and a half, but we call it 13. Um, and I really, really enjoy these pliers, and I think I will use them for the long term. So I highly recommend them to you guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and we even had Johnny Hams on there. Uh, if you wanna check out his YouTube channel, you, you can find it in the description below. Something else you can find in the description below is the link to these pliers. I will link both the Baco set of these and the Snap-on set. So if you'd like to go out and get your pair, get them on order. They are fantastic, they are robust, and they will definitely last you a lifetime. If you're doing any kind of rough work, absolutely a must to have around here. So that's what the channel's all about, bringing you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. I hope I helped you guys out today in, video, to in today's video. And if you're subscribed to the channel, well, it's time to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.